What's up? Welcome to the Odyssey. So, it's been a little bit since I've done uh, art videos. I figured I'd jump into the new art showcase, some new art pieces that I've done since my Inktober video. So, I don't think I showed this one last time, but if I did, sorry. But anyway, it's a really funny picture, I think. So, of course, this is inspired by the BVS uh, movie, Batman v Superman. And I saw this picture that someone did. It was a comic panel where they were fighting against each other, and it was just a slap contest. So, I... I'd recreated it on this red piece of paper and I was like, my Martha in there because I thought uh, it would have been hilarious. I was actually, I thought it would be really funny if they brought back the uh, my Martha thing in the Justice League movie. That was a, that was a cool movie. I actually really enjoyed it. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it. And it was some nice callbacks, I thought. Like cool Superman talking to Batman. Spoiler. Do you bleed? <laughs> that was so good. And I'm pretty sure I did show this one, but I touched it up a little bit with my red marker. Uh, classic Cyborg Superman, kind of a Terminator thing. The only regret is that that eye is a little space too far apart. And I didn't realize until after I inked. It was a little annoying. And I know I did show this one, so I'm not going to talk too much about that one. That was back a little bit ago. Uh, let's see. So this is my Ball is Life, the Swagosaurus Rex. I wanted to draw a dinosaur not too long ago, so I thought, why not draw this dinosaur kind of gangster almost <laughs> in a basketball jersey? Like, I don't know. I would really love to see a. Sorry, sorry about the shadow. Let me adjust that. I just realized that. I really want to see a. <laughs> what's it called? Like a Jurassic Park parody where it's not only the Jurassic Hood one that I thought of, but also like a basketball game where it's just dinosaurs that'd just be hilarious even if it wasn't like a full-fledged game but just a video in general it's like a commercial for Nike shoes or something so we have uh, Popeye the Green Lantern Sailor versus Bluto the Red Lantern and I thought that was actually pretty fitting um, honestly Bluto could be seen as both the Red Lantern and probably the yellow while Popeye obviously the Green Lantern of course he has the spinach there he's holding up about to eat it this was a very classic scene I saw um, not so long ago then I wanted to recreate and do it this way because I was I love the Green Lantern is probably one of my favorite one of my top favorite uh, DC superheroes and just the whole thing behind them I feel like I've actually talked about these already hmm I'm about to look into that once I do this so this one, if you've seen, if you follow me on Aramina, then you've seen a lot of these, but this is for my YouTube uh, fan. So this is for my YouTube community, you know? So this was based on a African woman who had lost, or had, you know, suffered a huge loss, and this is very symbolic. I really wanted to draw it and thought that it was just very empowering, and I, I really liked the way I captured her look there. And the way she's looking down and just the I don't really like the way I did the middle design there kind of going through her hair it's a little off but whatever and I don't really like the way I handled his face but I still, I still like it a lot this is actually one of my favorite pieces here this was Ernest the Green Lantern versus the clown NATO this is probably as campy as Ernest could ever get I loved Ernest. It was such a great, 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 great movie series. But I thought it'd be hilarious if he was actually in the cartoons as a Green Lantern. In the comics, I should say. And that'd just be hilarious. I, for some reason, wanted to draw a uh, caricature of him, so I did that with the green, classic Green Lantern pose, what I think his outfit would look like. Honestly, part of me kind of thinks he'd have, <laughs> have his Green Lantern uh, outfit look like he's wearing some, uh, what are they called? Not suspenders. I think he would have suspenders though too if he wasn't wearing the coveralls. The overalls, there we go. And then Clown Nado. I actually wouldn't I really want to use the Clown Nado thing in my in my books. It just sounds like a very awesome thing to, to look into since you know, because the whole shark NATO thing. And this one eh, I'm kind of okay with. I don't like the way I drew his face, but it's kind of another it's like a Native American kind of thing. I don't know what I was doing with the web I just kind of want to fill it up fill up the space but it kind of makes sense because when you think about it they're webbed together they're synced together you know that whole thing and of course being the major 
uh, Mass Effect fan I am. I have uh, actually a lot of Mass Effect uh, fan art in here. So, Tally and Legion. Tally is one of my favorite Mass Effect characters. It, but here's one of my main characters for the uh, current book I'm working on. Of course, he's an alien, but there's a lot more to it. He's the whole story is going to be kind of a Wonderland inspired thing. And there's also another uh, female character. I'm trying to make her look a bit nicer, but I think I actually did capture it because before I wasn't digging her head shape, but I did change it recently. I mean, I updated it here. It looked a little more just squarish, and I, I, was, I didn't like it, so I went to do a head shape like that because I wanted her to look a little different, but I think I captured the look I wanted to go for her. Kudos and shout out to Premiere by Nicole. She, their company does a lot of, they make some quality stuff. I think they're exclusively AC Moore brand. I don't really see them anywhere else, but that's pretty good. They make some good stuff. Like their markers are very awesome. The sketchbook is really cool. I kind of wanted to get one that wouldn't bleed with inking. So I grabbed this one and I decided to make it a, yes. I grabbed this one and I decided to make it a exclusive pencil sketchbook and maybe some light coloring as well. But these are these are kind of the papers that would kind of not really bleed easily, but yeah. So I got I started drawing in this uh, the first this month, and I did some realism sketches here. Uh, another fan art of uh, a Mass Effect film ship. I didn't really capture her the way I wanted to. The way she looked in uh, in the cosplay I saw her and she looked uh, a lot cooler, but I'm, I was glad I was able to draw. I might come back and draw her again in the future. Another uh, random person I draw yelling. I don't really like the way his mouth came out. It looks kind of creepy to me. And I draw Mario. He's kind of freaking out like, yo, what, what, what's your mouth open like that for? What are you doing? Are you, is something about to fall? And for this one, I decided to draw like a random, uh, random Spartan just holding a cupcake. And this, this, <laughs> someone drew these amazing Photoshop pictures of these birds just doing their random, going about their business, and they got these arms, like these random arms photoshopped to them, and it's the most, one of the most funniest things. One of the funniest things I should say on Pinterest, you, you gotta check it out, it's so funny. You just type in birds with arms. So this was Barboza, Captain Barboza. And I drew him how he looks in, I believe, Stranger Tides. And I think I could have captured his face a little bit better, but the shading uh, was, I was, I was doing pretty good with the shading. I got kind of lazy with the hair though. I was really happy to draw him because I realized I didn't really draw him yet before this picture. I drew, I wanted to draw Davy Jones at first, but I ended up drawing him instead, which I'm not complaining. And I, I drew Jack before previously, so that's why I didn't draw him again. And this is my caricature of Bruce Lee. I feel like I could have exaggerated his face a little bit because I, I slimmed it up a little bit, uh, what's it called, emphasized his cheekbones and made his eyebrows a little bushier, but classic pose, I figured why not. Yo, shout out to Iberlizio. So I had to, uh, he actually just recently launched a, a merch line and I'm really excited about that, really happy for him. He's got merch now and it's it's really cool. Uh, definitely look into uh, his stuff. He's, he's a very entertaining YouTuber. So I figured I wanted to draw something. I wanted to make a design, a possible design for his stuff. So I thought, It'd be a, like a picture of him or maybe like a, car, a car, more character style or actually just a realistic version of him like this. And it says, not sure if easy game or someone I gotta roast. And I figure it'd be actually really funny. Like there could be a couple different versions of this. I thought I'd put a quick little one design uh, together. Uh, 
I ne I actually did uh, tweet tweet this design to him on uh, t uh, Twitter, but he I don't think he saw it. But one of his fan pages saw it and he liked this. So I was like, yo, spread the word. If you guys are a fan of Berlizzi, spread the word. I want to definitely get that out there because I got Markiplier to like uh, one of my pictures. I was actually able to reach him, or at least he was able to see one of my fan arts of him. So that was really cool. So if I can keep doing the cool stuff like that, that'd be really awesome. So there's that. And the last piece I did was some. Um, more realistic, more realism again, trying to get into that and kind of perfect it as best as I can. So, funny story with this gal is when I was drawing her, she looked a lot like Justin Bieber when I drew her and I was kind of mad at first because I was like, I wasn't trying to draw Justin Bieber, I was trying to draw a female. <laughs> like, if you look at it a little bit and like change some of the features, like the way the shape, the face is shaped and like adjust the mouth, yo, know, it was spot on and I was so mad. Because the picture, the original picture, she doesn't look like Bieber, and it just so happened to look like her. I was, ugh. And this was an older lady with a beanie. Not really a beanie, but you know what I mean. Actually, is that a beanie? I forget what those things are called. Maybe it is a beanie. But yeah, I drew her. I didn't, I couldn't get her down pat because she had so many, all the wrinkles and just things on her face that I couldn't really figure out how to actually design too well. So I just stuck it like that. But that is my art showcase for now. Um, let me know, guys, in the comments if you want me to do another. Like, what, what would you like to see for my next time lapse art piece? And overall, what type of new artwork should I talk about or just draw in general? Um, I, I love doing artwork a lot, but I personally don't feel me. Uh, I, well, let me rephrase that. I personally don't want to have an, an, art, an art exclusive channel. Unless you guys request it, then sure. But if no one actually requests an art exclusive channel, I'm just going to keep my art on this channel with all my other stuff. So there we go. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you're new. And let me know what other stuff you want to see from me in the future. So until the next time. The wind hits our sails yet again. I'm out of here, guys. Better days.